Hello, this is our Outwell Belleville 7 Smart Air Tent. The Smart stands for the fact that Outwell had a design up until 2019 where the tubes interlock not just over the rims but across the mid structure as well to give you extra support across the roof. It did mean a little bit of extra pumping. You pump from one section rather than individual valves and the entire air tank goes up in one go, which will take a little bit longer to do. I'm going to show you now in a minute. But it's, it's really simple. Um, it comes in two compartments. There's a zipper here you might just see on a flap. Now I've put this on because to do this at a later stage would be too difficult to do when the tent is fully pumped. So it just elasticates over the roof. Let's do that now before I pump. If I did this after I pump the main section of the tent, I wouldn't be able to reach the, the roof structure. The smart there, or the clever thing that I will deal with the Belleville is the fact that they packed it into two bags. So the main part of the tent, which is about five, six meters long here, five meters long by 4.5 meters wide, it is one bag in a wheeled bag, and it's only 30 kilos, so very manageable in weight. And the front section then is about two meters of an additional space, which you don't have to use. It means you could leave it at home. That comes in another bag about 11 kilos. So if I connect it all together, I have it pegged to the ground and I'm going to pump up this section here first. So the canopy is the only part that's separate. So I'm going to do that now for you. So the outwell pump is a downdraft pump. So you only kind of feel the pressure there on the down on the way up, which really helps in the back. There is a PSI pressure gauge on it. So it'll tell me when I should stop. It'll be a black, green and red gauge. I have to stay within the green, so 7 PSI was is recommended by Apple, but it's tested to max 9. So on a normal air tents that are around at the moment, they're all individual tubes. So this much pumping would definitely have pumped up one bladder and I would have moved on to the next one straight away. But with that was because it's a smart air, one valve will pump up one, two, three, four tube sections and the mid structures. So it'll be slow to see uh, progress in it initially, but when it starts to go up, it'll all go up together. my workout for the day. There is electric pumps that can be got uh, from Outwell to do this really fast but they're only 12 volt operated so your car would have to be parked pretty close to the tent to be able to do it. I'm starting to see a little bit more progress. I've already known one thing I should have done is actually opened up a door. I will open it a door now in a minute. Because if I don't, um, the tent will create like a vacuum effect where the material will be kind of clinging together and not being able to, to stand up. So I'm just going to open up the door really quickly. Just so I don't get that vacuum effect, I don't have to open it fully. So the, each of the valves, if the spring is out, they're sealed. So if I stop and had to go off and take care of the kids or anything like that, the tent will stay where I left it and I can come back and just start again. And I can feel I'm up a bit more in the pressure, I'm up to about 4 psi now, so about halfway there. Five. Right, 
wants, it wants to stand. So if I just step into the doors and give it a bit of a push, to relieve some of that pressure from me. I can finish it off now. Sorry, I just had to stop the video there for a second. So we'll just finish it off from the outside. I had to take a phone call here really quickly. So I'm up to about 6 PSI now. Feel the resilience on the pump now. So I don't know how people overinflate there. It is I can barely get it up to the 7 PSI. pump like released itself. So one last tube then to do at the front. So with it outwells they have like a spring. If the spring is in it's on deflated, if the spring is out it's on inflate. So this tube to the front is kind of also a smart air. So we have the over tube and one interlocking tube back to the tent. Again, it's creating a bit of a vacuum effect, so I'm just going to open up the door. Zip caught up there. My doors, they have full mesh panels on all their doors, so huge amount of ventilation. Let's give this a push. Seven PSI there now. 
and that's the broadline oh the Belleville 7 uh, fully inflated just going to run around double check the pegging points I'm going to open up all the doors make sure the bedrooms are up and then give you a quick look inside and go through its features This is the Outwell Belleville 7 Smart Air Tint. It's the last we have. We have four models left from 2019, including this display version that we've just pumped today. The tent is a seven berth. I have pitched at the moment just as the six. There is an extra one berth bedroom which will clip into the porch area of the tent, which I just haven't assembled for this video. The bedrooms at the back will be a very large six berth. I'm going to give you all the measurements once we step inside. But to show you the outside feature of the tent, this door so the opposite side of this is just going to be a mirror image again on this side. So you've got your dark tinted windows which will stop any sun glare kind of getting into your tent and it also limits the amount of view people have into your tent from across the campsite. So it gives you a little bit more extra privacy. Again there's a mesh panel, full fly screen door that will cover this entire side of the door and again it's a mirror image on my right. Um, this canopy part is completely detachable from the tent. It comes in a separate bag which is about 11 kilos weight and the main tent is just over 30 but it comes in a wheeled bag so it's very manageable to lift in and out of the car. You can leave this canopy part at home if you don't ever wish to use it or if you're only going for an overnight or a weekend and you don't need to have such a large pitch you can leave it behind. It zips on. You zip it on before you start inflating the tent or you just won't be able to reach the zip points. Uh, so I zipped it on before I pumped which you'll see in the video previous to this one. All the guy ropes by Outwell are high visibility, so there'll be no tripping hazards on the tent. You're going to have high visibility strips along the sides, so if anybody's walking along by your tent at night time with a torch, your tent will show up for them so they won't be tripping or walking into your tent. The overall pitch of this tent is about 8 metres by 4.5 metres, so it is a big unit. Ample living space inside, so we're going to show you some of the internal features of it. This tent is just over six foot tall and the outwell range in the smart air is 6,000 mil hydrostatic head, so it's the highest waterproofing you can get. They all have their own custom patterning on the outside and the black and grey is very stylish. I'm going to show you the inside features and um, we'll see what you think. So this is the inside then of the Outwell Belleville 7. I hope the light doesn't blind me too much here. So we have our matching carpet down because all four models we have left have the exact same carpets and footprints for each of them so there will be their sold as packages on our website. If I talk about the carpet, first of all, the Outwell stuff is really, really good quality. So there's a really heavy duty PVC backing on it, making it completely waterproof. You already have your polyethylene ground shoe, which is totally sewn in. Um, so the zip door is raised. So at night time, this will pin up and there'll be no drafts or anything that get into your tent. So if you do decide to leave the canopy home and not use it, the tent from this door in is completely ample as a, as a proper tent. The footprint or the carpet is, it's not felted. It's more, um, it's more kind of mat or something but it's so much easier to clean and tidy and sweep with a sweeping brush on a campsite. Some of the other carpets by other brands are quite felted and every piece of crisps or anything that fall down and nearly get matted into it and also nearly need a hoover to clean it up. So I do love the outwood carpets. From this main door in all your curtains from now on zip up. In the porch canopy they just toggle but in the main part of the tent they zip. So I just have them pouched down into their compartments at the moment but they zip up and the zips on outwood tents are absolutely amazing because zips after you buy your tent and you've used it, they're not guaranteed on any brand. But I have to say the Outwell zips are just so good quality. Um, I've been pulling and dragging out of them, I find they're absolutely amazing. They, they zoom up and down without getting caught. So I don't know if you can see the roof, but we have interlocking tube systems going across all the valves. That's the smart air system. The bedroom to the back is all one compartment, so the dividers can completely come out. So you can have one very large bedroom or you can keep it as it's done here. They've made the middle room kind of the parents' room, the superior bedrooms. So it's going to be the larger of the three. So you've got a big room here to the centre and then you've got your two berth bedrooms on either side, both ample to take double airbeds or self-inflating mats, but this one is kind of a queen size. The door to the front, which I love and Outwell's design because no other tent brand does it. If I just disconnect this bedroom. This is a pouch fire door. So I've zipped it out and pocketed it in. But if they're anything like my kids, my kids tend to pull and drag out of everything that can be pulled and dragged out of. So this protects your main door at night time because I mean if this goes, it's not the end of the world, but if your zip goes, you're gonna have drafts coming into your bedroom. So they have a lovely pouch here that it shoves all into during the day. And there'll be nobody pulling and dragging out of it. So I, I love that design. The bedrooms are right low to the ground. Again, kids tend to stand and anywhere or trip over, so the flatter it is, the better, especially if you're during the day. 
This tent is four and a half meters width. This living space here is also about four meters. So you have a huge living space area outside. And with the eight meter pitch in the entire tent, it's ample for a family of six to eight if you really want to. You could potentially sleep on the floor here with all the doors closed. The, um, what else we'll have to show about this tent? We've got two side doors. Both doors are mirror images of each other. So we have a mesh panel on the inside and we'll have our door on the outside and it'll be the same on the outside. We'll have loads of ventilation through. Again, your main front door here will have mesh panels on it, so it will allow ventilation. But with the canopy, it has a full mesh screen on the entire door, so you can have loads of airflow through the tent if you wish to, but you're having mosquitoes or any problems and any bugs and stuff like that you want to keep out of the tent. That's about it with the Belleville. Um, it comes with a double action pump. Like I said, the tent is in two bags. It's thick side of the mill hydrostatic head. We've got four left only. Do visit our website on www.omaracamping.com.